Uh, sir, uh, I can I ha I can tell it in just one sentence. You are an individual which inspires agriculture students more than any other individual or any other academy. I would say because. Uh, hello, everyone. Here we are watching Dr. Vipin Kumar, or ask a video here, especially. उन एस्पेंट्स के लिए जो फिजिकल साइंस में अपनी जीआरएफ की तैयारी कर रहे हैं तो ये काफी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो है जो फिजिकल साइंस के बारे में सोच रहे हैं अपना कैरियर बनाने के लिए पीजी करने के लिए तो उसके लिए जो 2023 का कह सकते हैं फिजिकल साइंस में एक बहुत ही अच्छी रैंक सिक्योर किया है वो है सोमदीप सरकार जो हमारे साथ जुड़े हुए हैं और आपके साथ पूरी तरह से आपको बताने वाले हैं कि कैसे आपको तैयारी करनी है फिजिकल साइंस में और इनकी क्या स्ट्रेटजी रही इनका क्या एक प्रोस्पेक्ट्स रहा प्रिपरेशन करने के लिए पूरी तरह से यहां पर शेयर करेंगे तो वीडियो को शुरू से लेके अंत तक बहुत ही ध्यान से देखना दोस्तों क्योंकि अगर आप सीरियस कैंडिडेट हो तो डेफिनेटली ये चीजें मिस नहीं होनी चाहिए और इस वीडियो के साथ ही साथ बहुत से और भी वीडियो प्ले में आपको मिलेंगे जो कई साल के उनको भी देख के कंपेयर कर सकते हैं तो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मैं चाहूंगा सुबदीप सरकार को कंग्रेचुलेट uh, करना क्योंकि उन्होंने बहुत ही अच्छी जो रैंक सिक्योर किया है तो उसके लिए बहुत बहुत बधाई सोमदीप एंड नाउ थैंक यू सर इट इज टर्म टू इंट्रोड्यूस योर सेल्फ फ्रॉम वेयर यू आर थैंक यू सर आपको मेरा प्रणाम माय नेम इज सोमदीप सरकार आई एम फ्रॉम अ स्मॉल टाउन कॉल कोल्यारी इन वेस्ट बंगाल आई हैव डन माय ग्रेजुएशन फ्रॉम असम एग्रीकल्चर यूनिवर्सिटी एंड आई हैव सिक्योर्ड 14 रैंक इन आईसीआर एआईए पीजी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम इन 2023 विद एन एग्रीगेट मार्क्स ऑफ 357 सर आई स्टार्टेड यस सर थ्री हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी सेवन यस सर सो ड्यूरिंग दिस जर्नी ऑफ प्रिपरेशन माई बेस्ट बुक द बुक ऑन विच आई फोकस द मोस्ट वॉज आई ट्रिपल एस वॉज अ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सॉइल साइंस बाई आई ट्रिपल एस इंडियन सोसाइटी ऑफ सॉइल साइंस इट वॉज माई बेस्ट बुक आई स्टडीड ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दैट बुक एंड इट वॉज माई आई मीन द फर्स्ट लाइन ऑफ माई स्टडी आई स्टडीड ऑल द चैप्टर्स ऑल द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑल द न्यूमेरिकल डेटा I memorized it. I was able. I, I mean, I was able to relate uh, all the things. It's very necessary to relate all the chapters. They are interconnected because in recent years, the questions that are being asked in ICR PG entrance is that uh, they are taking concepts from two three chapters. They are interrelating it and they are asking one questions. So studying this book is very much necessary for all the aspirants uh, to get a good rank. After completing these books or or alongside studying these books. Uh, a few books is uh, aspirant should aspirant should uh, take reference from few books such as for pedology portion textbook of pedology by j segal is very much important because some of the facts that are given in this book uh, will not be found in i triple s book so uh, just learning that extra information it gives a very special edge in inform uh, in securing a higher marks in the examination because in the in this year also there were few questions which were framed from j segal book this this very question was asked that uh, who was the author of the textbook of pedology this very question was asked in uh, in this year examination so it is very important this book has immense importance for the pedology portion for the soil physics portion if uh, aspirants wants to learn a little more than the what is written in i triple s book a little bit a bit of concepts then textbook of soil physics by dr ak shah okay it is it will it will be very beneficial because all the concepts are given in very detail uh, if a if an aspirant is starting his preparation from third year first sem uh, he will be very much able to read this book and this book is written in a very lucid language and it will be very much beneficial for fertilizer portion uh, some tricky some in few years some tricky questions are asked from the fertilizer portion and for that reason a fertilizer a textbook by dr ranjan kumar boshak will be very much beneficial in that book uh, there are uh, few conceptual questions which are already framed or then and answered in that book will be available and some charts and data data numerical value charts are given which is be uh, very much helpful for the aspirants to learn it by heart and to secure a higher uh, age and higher marks in examination and uh, lastly for chemistry and uh, microbiology portion i would suggest uh, to study introductory soil science by dr dilip kumar das uh, in this book the chemistry and microbiology portion is very much well written especially the microbiology portion uh, because uh, much microbiology portion is something that we cannot neglect 
maybe in some years the questions are very few from this portion but in few some years the five to six questions uh, definitely come from microbiology section so we cannot neglect this section and for analysis uh, students uh, the aspirants can read uh, soil sampling and methods of analysis by dr sk pal in this book very elaborate analysis and very detailed analysis very detailed chapters are written on this analysis portion because in this year there was one question i can uh, recall was from analysis portion which was uh, given in this book only and not in any i triple s or any other book uh, and uh, very importantly because we have a lot of portion from general agriculture section i would suggest two books which will be very which will be exclusive i mean uh, by studying two books one aspirants need not to refer to any other books or general agriculture portion there are two very common books are a competitive book of agriculture by nimrat shunda and fundamentals of agriculture by arun karta uh, both the volumes by studying these two books aspirants can uh, just uh, top up their level in general agriculture portion and they need not to study any other references these two books are enough for physical science portion and one thing uh, the very three simple steps to crack this examination is consistency study revising and practicing practicing mcq is very much important it gives you it increases the uh, efficiency level of solving mcq because there is a time constraint in the examination 120 questions uh, in 120 minutes so solving is very much beneficial uh, as i i personally have solved one book uh, objective soil science by t damesh it's the only book that i have practiced and it's very much enough for uh, i mean for uh, a, a, to get that age efficiency age in solving mcq questions my uh, message will be that uh, it's very simple to crack this examination only three steps studying revision and solving if us aspirant does this consistently it will be very they, they will surely crack this examination uh, i personally started the preparing very late i started from fourth year first semester and uh, not from third year first semester but uh, i have seen most of my friends have prepared from third year first semester they have also secret food rank but my personal message would be if an aspirant is starting late uh, just like me from fourth year first semester they need not to worry they should um, uh, learn all the concepts by heart memorize all the numerical data revise make small notes for revision and practice consistently it will be enough one year is enough to crack this examination okay okay so uh, do you think uh, what is exactly uh, right time if the candidate is, uh, is starting from which year that will be very uh, comfortable for them as general sir uh, in third year third year first semester is very much comfortable for them because since i have started from fourth year first semester it was a bit of pressure for me to complete all the books references and mcq so my personal advice would be third year first semester will be the best option if somebody is starting from fourth year uh, first semester they need not to worry if they study consistently they will surely crack this examination because i myself has started from fourth fourth year fourth year first semester during my elp days i studied throughout my ri days and i have uh, secured something some 357 marks so it it's not a very difficult task so uh, the only how much time consistency how much time uh, you were giving during your preparation because uh, you started late somewhat late yes sir so uh, sir the daily fixed timing was uh, it was not very fixed but it was minimum 3 to 4 hours every day i every used day. to study to uh, one chapter in every day sir every day yes sir consistently you have uh, aspirant should study 3 to 4 hour every day at least 30 minutes for mcq uh, practice at least 30 minutes for revision and at least 2 to 3 hours for studying new topics new concepts and new chapters 30 minutes sir should be for mcq practice and 30 minutes sir should be for revision uh, they both are very integral part to crack this examination in the revision and practicing uh, it will be somewhat difficult um, maybe they will crack they will get the nts not the pg scholarship but the revision and uh, practice is very much is of utmost importance and consistently studying 3 hours uh, it's okay sir is very much okay I, i because during elp and rive days i did not get personally I did not get more than 4 hours to study so i managed it during that time only. okay so i think uh, you covered most of the things what you wanted to tell and what a aspirant should know most of the thing you have already told yes, you sir. covered uh, but uh, a few thing i want to ask uh, like um, yes sir uh, yes sir. Uh, examination preparation uh, examination uh, 
whole strategy you, if you want to uh, give some message regarding that then sure sir in exam hall strategy there is only one strategy sir to keep the mind calm because uh, 90% of the question will be from the knowledge domain of an aspirant if he has studied uh, only the I, only the ipls and the few references book he will ca carry almost 90% uh the questions will be almost 90% from this knowledge domain i triple s and the four books that i have uh, told the book list 90% of the questions from here only if an aspirant keep his mind calm read the question carefully is yes, another another thing reading the questions carefully answer mcq questions carefully because sometimes they twisted uh, just to play with our brain so studying the question carefully is very much important and keeping the mind calm and as aspirant can surely uh crack this examination with a lot of ease so how this many questions were assessment. direct and uh, how many questions were like statement assertion reasoning what was proportion during this year sir uh, assertion reasoning was i guess from uh, it was 8 to 10 questions from assertion reasoning uh, there were few statement based questions which were which had a higher weightage this year almost 10 questions were weightage based few questions uh, definitely was out of um, personally it was out of the out of domain of my knowledge almost i because uh, i left seven questions was unanswered i i opted 113 questions and i um, got 357 and i made a mistake of 21 questions 113 113 question you have attempted 113 yes sir i have attempted opted for seven questions was completely unknown to me a uh, few questions i uh, give i give I, i was 50 50 sure some of the questions i got wrong that i have attempted and some a very few right um doing this it has increased uh, my negative marking to a uh, bit extent i had got 21 questions wrong and uh, i have got a rank of uh, marks of 357 if i had not attempted that questions so my negative marking would have been a uh, lot to a uh, certain extent what do you want to tell how the students should uh, uh, decide the subject for the master okay sir uh, for me to choose uh, soil science or physical science as a subject was because it is purely conceptual subject okay. there is very little to little things to uh, learn by heart there uh, in physical science there is a lot of conceptual matters that uh, we have to understand and correlate in order to answer the questions so that was uh, the very key part uh, for me for choosing soil, soil science as a subject Yeah, yeah another thing for choosing the subject uh, i would add that uh, you should also see the seat matrix because uh, though i am comfortable in physical science i would say that the seat matrix in physical science is quite low as compared to agronomy or other subjects in agronomy there is a lot of seats so as for, this can be also a very uh, i mean determining factor for choosing subjects in in yeah. plant breeding and in plant sciences there are lot more seats than agronomy so this may be a very uh, determining factor for students so definitely they yes, should uh, think over the seed matrix also their interest also and even the yes, scope sir. of the sure. subject uh, yes sir yes, should sir. consider sure. and yes, if uh, apart from this anything left you want to say say special thing to aspirants anything no sir that's all that's all. okay so i think this uh, much of the information is uh, uh, uh enough for the aspirants to yes, preparing sir. for the physical sciences yes, and definitely yes, this going uh, this video is going to uh, help the upcoming aspirants of the physical sciences so my uh, uh, my suggestion would be uh, the all the aspirants please listen the videos very carefully and try to make the notes just not only the listen the video and watch the video because once you will uh, listen and watch the video it is not possible to memorize each and every point what he somdeep told here okay so it will be better just make a note what points he is emphasizing in which book what uh, you should read okay so that you can remember exactly and similarly you should also watch the other stoppers video so that you can correlate what was the their uh, strategy what were the core uh, core area uh, you should give focus on that so definitely you can make your own strategy but just by seeing and watching the videos of uh, toppers and you can make your own strategy and you can crack with very good ranks so with this uh, thank you somadeep uh, for sir. coming at my platform and sharing your uh, own strategy one thing i want to ask uh, somadeep what is your view about my uh, this platform how my platform help you
Uh, sir, uh, I can I ha I can tell it in just one sentence. You are an individual which inspires agriculture students more than any other individual or any other academy. I would say because uh, you you are the person maybe everyone in agriculture uh, the agriculture students follows in agriculture fraternity. I I guess everyone, especially from agronomy and soil science students, they everyone they follow you. They follow what what you say. They follow what you instruct. So, sir, that's that's, that's I, I can say. Thank that, you, thank uh, you, thank you. You are you are you are, you are just like an idol for us. Thank you very much, dear. I am trying uh, uh, to stand up uh, the expectation you people are having uh, with me, and uh, that is the one of the sole uh, uh, reason that's give me so much responsibility to do uh, this kind of the work. So, thank you very much, huh? thank and you, all sir. the best to all the aspirants. Thank you.